Cookie mad easy, cookie mad easy, yo. EW Corner. Sundays, you know, every day of the week. Tell your friends, tell your dad, tell your mom, tell the street. DW Corner. Hmm, DWGana.com. Well, hello, friends, family, and neighbors. Welcome to DW's Corner Cookie Made Easy. I'm coming to you today on a how to video on how to cook spaghetti squash. This is very simple, very easy, and I'm using my number one go to tool in the kitchen the power pressure cooker. Bar and um, this is my favorite cooking tool in the kitchen. And so we're gonna go ahead and get started here. This is gonna be quick, it's gonna be simple, and it's not gonna take a whole lot of time. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, get you started here. I don't have the rack. When you're doing a spaghetti squash, you know, they're very, very hard. You mean, very, very hard. I mean, it has a Hearts, hearts, heart, heart, hard. <laughs> They're tough. Hard shell. But the power pressure cooker will make light work of this. And uh, I don't have the rack to go down in my pressure cooker because I picked this up at a, a great deal at a thrift store. But normally they come with a little rack that goes in them. And this one just didn't have it. So I'm using ceramic bowl my little chip ceramic bowl <laughs> and I'm gonna put that down in there but before I put that down in there I'm gonna go ahead and add a cup of water roughly about a cup of water ought to do it and you don't want to put this just down on the bottom of the pressure cooker because if you do it's going to burn it's going to start cooking so you will need something to shield it from the bottom so my little bowl there I seal it from being down on the bottom of the base there and what I'm going to do now I'm going to go ahead and get the pressure top and let's see get this is a Make sure that it's secured. After doing a little quick research, there's several different times that you can use this. Uh, if you want it, depending on the size of your squash, it's a small squash. It's not very big, I don't, but uh, you can use either 15, 17, or 20 minute cook time is your preference to put how you want your spaghetti squash to come out whether you want it firm medium or soft those are three different cooking times you can use and I'm going to be doing what I call a spaghetti -o method you'll see after it gets done so let me go ahead and get this cooking time let's see cooking mode to high and then we're going to set this for roughly 15 minutes Make sure I got this right. I should have my glasses on. Yeah, I need to get my glasses. It might help to get my extra eyes here. There we go. There we go. Cooking mode. Okay, high. And let's see. Cooking time. Let's go for 15 minutes. Now it's going to take a little while. Okay. We're going to go ahead and close the pressure lid and then lock that and this little pressure button right here when the steam builds up it's going to pop up and that's going to start the timer to count down. Let me make sure that the timer is set because I'm looking at it right now and uh, cooking time 15 minutes. Okay that's 16. Okay, let's go ahead and hit start. Well, that went one minute. Well, one minute or another doesn't matter. I said 15, but the numbers look like they disappeared, but they were there and just in my glasses. But uh, 16 minutes, we're gonna run it for 16 minutes. And uh, when that gets up to pressure, it's gonna start counting down. Right now, 
it's warming up it's going to take several minutes for it to warm up to build up the steam pressure once the steam pressure get going then we are going to be cooking and then uh, we'll come back afterwards and I'll show you what the finished product is going to be after it's done I'm going to let it run for about 15 to 16 minutes and let it sit in the pressure cooker for another 15 minutes let it cool down naturally inside and continue the cooking process and then afterwards we'll take it out and I'll show you how to cut it and show you the finished product okay DW out well DW back with you people I owe you all a great apology I thought I had my camera on record I had my camera on photo I keep wondering why my camera keep going off and I just went through this whole last presentation wondering why my camera kept shutting off come to find out it was on photo it was not on record and to make a long story short I went through the 16 minute cook time on the pressure cooker and I let it cool down for 15 minutes and I just pulled it out and I did the uh, spaghetti -o method which what I actually did was I cut the spaghetti squash into four sections uh, roughly about an inch thick and uh, I have the skins right here to prove it <laughs> I can't believe that that was a rookie error but uh, anyway you, you take your spoon or your fork take the spoon and spoon out all of the seeds and then you take your fork and, and just lightly rake out the spaghetti noodles into the plate uh, my apologies again uh, it, I'll make sure next time I do next video that uh, I got follow through on that to make sure that the camera is on record mode and not on photo mode that was just a big mistake but uh, anyway there you have the finished product spaghetti noodles I want to encourage you all to try this I may do a follow-up video on it this is the part two presentation uh, and so anyway I hope you all in, enjoyed the presentation even though I uh, made a little boo-boo not making sure that the camera was on record but uh, there you have it spaghetti squash looks just like spaghetti and mm, this is done it's a little bit crunchy you can add a little salt you, may, you see it any way you want goes great with spaghetti sauce and any other sauces that you want even um, salad dressing you can put it in a salad you can add all kinds there's so many different ways that you can use spaghetti squash so anyway there you have it spaghetti squash in the power pressure cooker I would appreciate it if you all would take the, a moment to hit the like and subscribe button that will help me out on this YouTube algorithm and as usual may you all have a great and wonderful evening God bless we hope to see you on the next video this is DW at DW Corner I'm out of here hasta luego bye bye Cookie mad easy, cookie mad easy, yo. DW corner. Sundays in a every day of the week. Tell your friends, tell your dad, tell your mom, tell the street. DW corner. Hmm. DW corner. Dot com.